Shorty like it. Shorty like a thousand dollar plate, fine china. Tell her that she beautiful every day. I remind Hey YouTube. Hey to all the itty bitty supporters. Thank you for y'all support. Um, so I realized I haven't done a tutorial in a while, so I was like, hmm, we gotta do a tutorial. So this one, I don't know, this one's like different compared to the other ones I've done. And it might be a little bit more difficult. So we might just like wing it halfway through. But into the makeup tutorial. Mm. And I'm back. Um, okay. So basically today, as you can see, I have the tape on, so we're doing a cut crease, obviously. Um, and like I've said before in my other tutorials for like the cut crease and the tape, the best way to get it like evenly is you like keep it, not keep it, but you place it under the bottom lash line and you just angle it up. Bottom lash line, angle it up. This is the best way to get it like an even cut crease, to be honest. But y'all know what's first. We got our prime the eyeballs so where is my concealer concealer and then our concealer brush is somewhere in here give me a second give me a second give me a second and there it is handy dandy concealer brush i'll probably never get rid of this brush like i've had this brush for like years now But I do need to go get some more concealer. Child, but we is running low. Okay. Um, we're not doing the cut crease right now, so we're just gonna. Mm. And now we're gonna blend, blend, blend it up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm probably a little hyper today. I don't know why. But a good mood is better than a sad mood. And that's on purr. But as you can see, then we blend out our concealer on our eyelids. We take it up to the brow bone. Oopsie daisy. Mm, we might need some more. Blend, blend, blend. And you do want to take it all the way down to where the tape is. You know, you probably can't really see my tape line like that, but just letting you guys know, you do want to take it down there. I'm like a chunk of my eyebrows missing. Oh no. I don't know how that happened. Oh, that's no bueno. No bueno. I guess we're just out here losing eyebrows now, guys. Because I didn't even try to do my eyebrows yet. That's going to be a lot to do. We're going to figure out how to fix that. A different day. Because I don't know what's going on. Put a little bit more concealer. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go buy some more. This is last time I tried to go buy some more. And I couldn't remember what the name of it was. I don't know my concealer numbers like that. This one is 10 though. So next time we go to the mall, we're gonna go get some concealer. I should probably look into other concealers and see, but this one is just the cheapest and in my budget, and it works pretty well, in my opinion. It's probably better ones, but I just haven't Brouded my, it's not brouded my surrounding because it's, I don't know, I'm not good at these sayings, obviously. But anyways, we're still blending. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so first color is going to be our first color is going to be a yellow. Yes, so okay. So, first color is going to be yellow. So, ah, yeah. Just because it is super pigmented and beautiful. And beautiful. Okay, so we're going to do the yellow, like, 
in the crease and above the crease like kind of like eyebrow bone type of look so we're just gonna put that in here and we want to kind of make sure the yellow is able to be seen so we're gonna do this probably a couple times just to make sure that we really get the color on here yeah because y'all can barely see the yellow the yellow makes it makes like an orange color with my skin tone i don't know why but that's not what we're going for right now i'm going for yellow i might blend this with a different yellow from the james charles palette just to get it in there yeah let's see go to the james charles palette grab the b There we go. Just gonna probably blend these two together to make it more yellow. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. It's just that the um the Juvia's palette one is more of a yellow, and then the James Charles palette is more of like it's yellow, but it's more of a dark yellow. Like it's not like a mellow yellow. So. Bees, knees, yellow. That makes sense. But anyways, so getting this yellow in there. Okay. I think, yeah, y'all can see it in the camera. I think the lighting is different. Like with my mirror and then with the camera. But anyways, okay. So we got the yellow, and then we're gonna top the yellow with an orange. But it's going to be a darker orange, so we're still going to be using the Juvia's palette, and then we're going to use this one. The car. I think that's how you say it. Don't judge me if I'm saying these names wrong, okay? I am my mother's daughter, because she don't know how to say names either. We're going to use the same brush. It's the best one. So basically, we're going to be kind of like putting this on top of the yellow. So we're only gonna get a little bit because this is a darker color. So we're gonna only get a little bit and then put it like on top of there, but slightly under all at the same time, like this. So basically in your crease, cause like how we put the yellow and the eyebrow bone, we want the orange more inside the crease than the yellow was. And we just kind of want to tap it in there and slightly swipe. So we just want to keep kind of making it a little bit darker and blending it with the yellow. Which I think that looks pretty good if you ask me. Get a little more yellow just to add a little bit on the top. See up in the brow bone, just want to kind of just blend that in there with it too. Okay. Oh, if y'all ain't know, I am a Cardi B fan. Just saying. Just to let y'all know. Okay. So now we're gonna get into the cut crease. You feel me? So I finally did order a white concealer. Like, yep, yeah, y'all yeah, know what I'm saying. A white pigment concealer. So then, like, the color can actually pop, pop. This other one. Oh, I did have tape in here already. Oh, but this is double sided tape. NYX pigment primer. Yeah, because it's technically a primer, not a concealer, but yeah. So let's see how this is going. So, because I haven't tried it yet. What I gotta do? Now I'm trying to be gentle and stuff, and it just won't come out. I think that might be enough. Put them on, just in case. All right. 
So y'all know per usual, I do one eye first and then I speed up the video and do the other one. But let me look for my smaller brush to climb the bottom so I can go ahead and do this cut crease for you guys. This is actually like a really cute look. I've um, seen it on Instagram and I was like, ooh, I should recreate this. So let's see if it comes out the way it is. Um, I'll go ahead and put it up here. Uh, it's kind of thick. I don't know about this. It might come out a little chunky. If it does, then we'll just take it off and use a regular concealer. Okay, so we're going to do the cut crease. So we want to start, get these baby hairs out of the way. Start at the front and just... Okay, it's coming out pretty decent, to be honest. Um, I don't really know. This is the best white primer out there. You might have to go try a different one that's a little bit more smoother, not as thick. Because I don't really like this consistency, to be honest. I feel like I should put some more on there. Get the white color. I just hope my eyeshadow sets nicely. Because if they don't, we're going to have a problem. Okay. Oh, I went a little too high. A little too rough. And so this bottom part is kind of supposed to be like winged. Like the eyeshadow is supposed to be winged. So we're going to go ahead and wing out the primer. Whoop. Whoop. I really need to invest in like a really cute headband. You know, like them shower headbands that people be wearing when they do like their face masks and stuff. That's what I need. I need one of them. Where do they sell those at? I think they might sell them in like Ross and stuff. Okay. Oh. Still look really thick and chunky. I don't know how that's going. I may have spent like a decent amount of money on a sucky primer. But you live and you learn, you live and you learn. And the makeup stores are open again, so it's not like I can't just go and buy a new one or a different one. But we're gonna try to work with it. So now we're gonna get a purple. Let me check. By the way, so I do want to show you this palette, even though if I'm not using it. But I got this for my birthday, and it was like a whole set. Look, 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 look. It's SpongeBob, and it's holographic. So basically, my mom bought it for me for my birthday, and it came with this bikini bottom palette. Which, let me show you guys, even if I'm not using it. Oh, it does have purple. So, isn't it so pretty? So it came with this palette, and then it came with a bronzer, which I'm going to use later in the video for my foundation. Um, it came with a bronzer, blush, all in one, and then it came with um, four highlighters. And it came with a face mask. I haven't used a face mask yet, but it's seaweed infused, and it might be really good. I haven't used it yet, though. I probably will soon. I'm trying to take better, better care of my skin. Anyways, um, into the video. So, we're gonna use a purple, so it's gonna be more of a darker purple. Let's see this. Because I haven't used this yet either. Nah, it's a little too shiny. But this is one of the purples from the SpongeBob palette. So, we're pretty much gonna use like a darker purple and then a glittery purple. So I honestly think the James Charles palette is the best palette to use 
her with the look we're doing today. She let's check the Jeffree Star in here. Eh, not what we're looking for. Dude, Charles, it is. Because I know my 3503 Morphe palette does not have purple in it. Yeah, okay. So basically, what we're going to use today is going to be. We're going to use Escape on the outer. So we're going to use Escape on the outer half, outer side of our eye. And then we're going to use art, Artistry on the inner for the sparkle and stuff. So Escape and Artistry are the two purples that we're going to be using today and we're going to be switching our brush to something smaller <sighs> i think this might be the smallest we have for this oh no i have this one too okay then we're going to use this for the sparkles and then we're going to use this for the escape so you probably yeah i would say lightly dab your brush into the purple so we're gonna use it on the outer part and the wing. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap it in there because you don't want to get it. Oh, see, you see what I mean by how it was chunky? It's creasing terribly. Ooh, yeah. That primer is no bueno. No bueno. bueno. Oh no. Mm mm. That primer sucks. I do not suggest NYX pigment primer. No, don't buy it. Uh, we might have to fix. Well, we'll do the other eye, my other eye, with the concealer, with my regular concealer instead of this pigment primer. Because I'm pretty sure that's going to set way better than this. Because this is showing like a lot of creasing. Anyway, so you want to lightly swipe your brush over because, like I said, the inner corner really is for, like, the sparkle and stuff. So, yeah, I think we're going to stop about, like, yeah, here. So, not really mid-eyeball, but a little bit more than mid. And then, do get a blending brush so you can try to blend it, well, since... This pigment sucks. It's not really going into the crease part. So I'm just going to lightly dab that into the purple and try to put it up top in the crease part. It should be covering. Yeah, so just get a blending brush, a smaller blending brush, and if you have this problem. And then try to slightly dab it up there which we i might just redo this whole eyeball and then we're just gonna make it a little more darker try to get it up there in the crease again wing it out a little bit more okay now we're gonna get to the sparkle so like I said, it's the James Charles Palette Artistry one that has the sparkles and stuff in it. The purple sparkles. Just want to put that up front. Oh yeah, this pigment primer sucks. But I'll try my best to work with it for right now until I fix it. You, sweetie. It's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. <sighs> We're gonna have to fix this eye. Let's try. Oh no. This is not it. Okay. not feeling it at all but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna start on this eye and I'm gonna speed that up until I start doing the purple just so you guys don't have to go through that whole yellow and orange same process 
And then I'm gonna use concealer and then we're gonna compare the two eyes. Let's see how that goes. So, be right back. Okay, so now that eye is done with the yellow and orange. I'm gonna go in with my regular colored concealer because I don't really have another concealer. And I'm gonna use the same brush as the smaller concealer brush to help with the cut crease. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit of concealer. Grab a little bit. I'm gonna try to do a cut crease. Need more concealer. Sorry for all that noise. I'm just trying to set my mirror up again. So I don't have to hold it myself. <sighs> Cut creases are hard. Let me see. Concealer just doesn't want to come onto this brush. I would go to the mall today and go pick someone up, but I can't go nowhere today. There we go. See how better that is gliding? And then, like I did on the other eye, you want to wing the concealer. Supposed to be a cut crease wing look, so you want to make sure you wing the concealer at the same time. Try to even out this eye up top. And now we're gonna see how the purple lays on this one. Cause this just don't look right to me at least. I don't know about y'all. But I ain't happy with this song. So we're gonna go in with the purple. Hopefully this looks way better than the other eye. If it doesn't, then I might just give up on makeup at this point. Cause this is tripping. Or I'm tripping, I guess. But let's see. And then dark purple on the outer eye. And since this is like a looser um, concealer compared to the white one, you want to more so of dab the shadow in instead of swiping. Because you might move the concealer. Okay, I like that this is applying way better than the other eye. Okay, and then now I'm gonna grab the blending brush again to get it up into the crease. Okay, this is setting way better.
There we go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby if I say so myself. Sorry, I'm weird. Don't pull a bit my pepper. Pull a my pepper. Pull a pepper. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the sparkle. Other brush. Okay. I really need to get like a vanity at this point. Cause I'd be doing all this stuff on my bed and then I end up with eyeshadow on my bed. I'm just like, where did this come from? Now I have to wash my sheets again. You know? Ow, I just poked myself in the eye. And we're still using the artistry purple and glitter combo. I'll make sure you get it on the there we go. Make sure you get in there, up there, in the crease. Okay, so the downside is though, that the white did make it look lighter. My concealer made the color look a little darker. But this had set way better than the other eye, if you ask me. Now, well, I probably should have used the lighter purple for this side though, that would have been smart. But I do think this side looks way better setting than this side does. Mm. So y'all go ahead and drop in the comments which eye y'all think look better. Cause I'm kind of indecisive right now. Cause this one's set better, but this color looks better. No, they're, they're both the same color. It's just the white pigment made it look lighter. Y'all go ahead and drop it in the comments which one y'all think looks better. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and fix this eye with this same color. So I can look even. Even Steven. So, I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm officially back. So, now... As you can see, I try to even out the cut crease and into my concealer color. Now, I'm gonna try to do this again. Again, with the dark purple. And dark purple goes on the outer side of the eyelid. And you wanna kinda dab it. And for the wing part, you might wanna just like dab it more towards on the tape and then try to get your tip bristles on towards the wing part or you can use the blending brush and do it with the blending brush whichever way you find is easier that's totally up to you i'm definitely gonna need to use the blending brush from the top of my crease part because i don't need no purple where are you supposed to be Let's get the blending brush, get a little purple on there. You see how it's no longer concealed up there? Well, you can't see the concealer line. Okay. I got a couple little creases, so I'm gonna cover that up a little bit. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the sparkle on. Remember, we're using the Archistry from the James Charles palette for our purple sparkle. Putting that in the inner corner of our eye. 
for the sparkles you more so want to dab than rub because it's easier for the sparkles to stay it is just the inner corner i like to use a smaller thick brush Ochre, ochre. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation. And I'm gonna show you some new products that I got just because I wanna see how it's gonna set my foundation and everything. Because I haven't used it because I've been waiting to make a tutorial for it. So we're gonna do that today. And once I like put on my foundation and everything, then I'm going to take off the tape. Just because I like it when it all comes together. If you haven't watched my um, Sephora makeup haul, then I'm going to let you guys know that I'm using this new moisturizer that I got from it. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch it. Um, and by the way, if you're still with me, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe for me. Because y'all made it a long way if you're still here. Anyways. So this is a water bank um, moisture cream, and its brand is Laneige. I think that's how you say it. I'm not totally sure if it's not the right way you say it. Don't judge. But it's supposed to hydrate your skin, and for the most part, I do need to hydrate my skin because it's like it's not dry. It's very combo, but it's supposed to be good for like your pores and your skin. So I just wanna start using this one to see if it's actually really good for my face even though it doesn't have any spf in it i still like to use it at least because most of the moisturizers i use do have spf in it just because i do live in florida i don't like the sun to leave me beauty marks no bueno for me it's so silky smooth I love that moisturizer. And so far, it hasn't made me break out or anything. So, that makes me bitty happy. Bitty bitty happy. Um, so, I'm gonna use that moisturizer and it feels really nice. I kind of, I do suggest it, to be honest with you. But, we're gonna be using this new primer. Because I want to see how it sets the face. It's, um, L'Oreal Paris Magic Perfect Base Face Primer. I just want to see how it's going to set my makeup. It's kind of a thick consistency. Very sticky like. So. I'm actually excited to use this. It smells expensive. Just to let you guys know. L'Oreal is a very expensive brand. If you didn't know. They don't play no games. But if this primer is nice, then we might just have to buy it. I have a very, very small forehead, as a lot of my friends and people know. So it's very hard to put primer and foundation up there. Just saying. Okay. Now we're faced. Well, we're not faced, but our face is primed. <laughs> it feels very nice, to be honest. Hmm. Might be a good primer. I've been to have a makeup since. And so now I'm actually gonna go in with the foundation. We're not gonna do that translucent powder and stuff today. We're just gonna go in with this. And basically just gonna drop it. I don't wanna just drop it on the brush and rub it. Cause I actually started looking up and the brush is actually good to use while you're putting on foundation. Mm. 
I like to take my nose ring out if anybody has piercings. I like to take it out because sometimes it can leave like a mark. Now, um, a new trick that I'm going to actually do is I'm going to use setting spray on my um, blender for my foundation. And I'm going to use the bottom of my blender. I'm just going to... Blend. I'm not going to put it all the way towards my eye. Because I'm going to show you guys a new way to um, cover up your under eye. So now my foundation is applied. Um, For my concealer, I am actually going to take off the tape now. So I can kind of cut the crease a little bit more with my concealer. If possible. I honestly think this is going to look super nice with lashes. But this is like a new way of kind of concealing under your eye. So you want to get it here more by your nose and slightly under your eye instead of doing the whole triangle cheek thing and then the way i'm about to conceal my eye is it's gonna help it look lifted Ooh, sorry guys um it's gonna help it look more lifted so you want to put it here kind of where i did already crease it so you kind of want to put it there to look lifted i'm gonna do the same thing with the other side Then you want to blend that out. What's your beauty blender? Where's mine? I'm gonna spray it again, the setting spray, but I'm gonna spray it on the top of it. And then we're gonna blend, blah 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 blend. Blah, 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 blend. We're gonna look fabulous. Especially once we put lashes on. And I got these new lashes to show you guys. You want to be careful on your cut crease to make sure you're not you getting the concealer on there but you do want to make sure it looks all clean cut just see see how it slightly looks like more lifted um i'll probably make like a more like tutorial look on the concealer on why I'm stopping on doing like the little triangle under the cheek and why I'm doing it a new and different way. So if you guys would actually like that tutorial on why I'm doing it this way, go ahead and drop in the comments and say you guys want it so I can make it for you. I'll be short, but you know. Okay, so that's all blended. And I actually have this like bronzer stick now but I do want to show you guys the um powder bronzer I have this this is my four highlighters um I do want to show you guys the bronzer spongebob bronzer and stuff that I was telling you guys about so it's um a bronzer and blush together oh super 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 cute so basically um what you want to do with bronzer is you grab a slightly like an puffy but like angled brush like this so you want to lightly dap it in the bronzer though not too much so you just want to one 
Oop, sorry, I got itchy. Just one little dab, and then you want to motion it in a three. Because this isn't, this isn't contouring, but this is a bronzer, which gives you more of a beach glue. Where you just want to, I don't have much of a forehead, so that's slightly a problem. So we're just going to, you want to just move it like that. And as you can see, you can kind of see the slight difference in more of the brownish kind of look on this side than this side. Well, I can see the difference. I don't know about y'all. We'll just take another light dab and just like that. And you want to go ahead and do it to the other side. Again, in the form of a three. That might have been a little bit too much because you'll see that little um, patch right there. But we'll fix that but you just want to do like a shape of a three just like that and then we're gonna go ahead just because I want to kind of show you how the blush looks it is a very pink I'm not really used to this color but it's still nice but for your blush you just want to light tap and then smile just like that Just like so there's your bronzer and your blush and now you can go ahead and can I show you the highlights just because I actually do love this palette these are more of a neutral highlight and they're very brownish and whatnot actually I'm not gonna use this highlight because I actually have this new one I want to try to see how it looks to be honest so, like I said before, if you haven't seen my Sephora makeup haul, go look at it and look at these products. But this is a new um, highlighter that I got, and it's Kat Von D. It's called Teal Aquamarine. So, I think it's going to actually look super pretty. So, you just want to, per usual, no. See you from a mile away. <laughs> and since we did use purple today in our eyeshadow, I think I want to do a purple lip. It might be too much, but I just want to show you guys the lipstick, lip gloss and lipsticks I did get also. Shiny, 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 yeah. So, can I, uh, where are they? So, I do have these two Kat Von D um, lip liner and lipstick that are purple. And, like I said, if you didn't go watch my makeup haul, go watch it, because these are two products that I received. But, so I decided, I think I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this on the outside and then I'm gonna actually fill it in with the lighter color or no should I do light to dark actually no I might just do light to dark just to see how it looks I've never really blended lipsticks so um bear with me this is a learning process for all of us So there's a lavender lip line, and then I'm gonna take this and
not super blended, but you can also tell I do have lip liner on. It is kind of sticky, but it is matted at the same time, so it's very odd. I don't know how to feel about this. But I do feel like the color does look nice on me. So. Now, since I do have everything on, I'm going to put on some lashes. Be right back. Hey guys, so I got my lashes on. Um, don't mind my purple finger. But... I think the look came out pretty good for us to struggle that much. So I am definitely going to need you guys to like this video because it was a real struggle. But I do want to let you guys know that these lashes, um, I got these lashes from Amor Ari on Instagram. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that in the description. I want to say these ones were called Cash. They're really cute. Um, she makes, oop, it's lifting. I didn't put enough glue lol but um she makes these like lash supreme bags so it comes with tweezers lash glue the lashes and like pieces of candy and two spoolies so and it's only like 20 something dollars so i do suggest that package if you are gonna order any lashes from her but i hope you guys you like this tutorial and this look because it was a real struggle as you guys can see but Bye, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.